Hi, Crypto Kings and Queens. Welcome to this episode. My name is Natalie. So what I'll go through today is obviously that we did break this huge triangle that we did have been inside of this whole weekend. It's been so super boring. We are right now at this previous all-time high between 66,000 and 67,000 that we're having a pullback right now. That is okay. We can also see that we're having a triangle on the lower time frame so we could just have some bounces in between these levels because remember guys if we're going back in time and we understand how bitcoin is working when the market decides to break to the upside it's breaking to the upside so we could just have a small pullback but we have to have in mind that we are at this previous all-time high remember i am no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first but please continue watching this video and i'll show you the updates on what i see on bitcoin right now Starting off with Bitcoin on the weekly and we can see that during this Monday so it's only been one day off of this week that we've been having this candlestick right now so this is Monday we have a whole week in front of us but we can go back in time and see what happened so we did have this resistance we did have one two three weeks to the downside that told us that we're not breaking this resistance on the daily right now and uh, yesterday we did break a we did break this trend line with a bullish candlestick above. So today we've been very bullish. We are all right now at this previous all time high high. And that is why we're having trouble breaking this level. Can you see we had the pullback down? We can come back down a little bit more. I don't think we will do that because if we're taking Fibonacci from 61767 to the highest point at 66540, we could come back down to 64,114 and also come back and read us this previous trend line that we do have. But if you're looking at the lower time frames, if we're looking at the lower time frames, we do maintaining our higher lows right here. So the market could definitely have a small triangle forming and then we just might break it. But we have to have in mind that we are at this previous resistance. It's a very strong level for us, so we could definitely come back down. We just have to wait and see what's actually gonna happen. Looking at the lower time frames, this is also how it looks. We just have a, a small head and shoulders. Market can come back down and retest the neckline right here. Maybe it's not a valid, but this is how it looks when the market is forming a, a reversal pattern against a a strong resistance level so this is definitely something that can happen that we're continuing back down i don't believe that we will crash right now <laughs> or crash we don't have to crash but i don't think that we will see a market from nowhere just having this i don't think that will happen i do believe we will create another higher high before we are going back down again before we're having a huge pullback because at some point we have to come back down to create liquidity and then continue to the upside and if you trade bitcoin you know how it is the market when the market decides to go to one way it will do that forever and then you start to see something like this happen some just like this you had so many days the market just went up you had a small pullback hundreds of days just going up a huge pullback and when the market decides to continue to the upside the market just continues and continues and continues so the market doesn't have to come back down right now but first of all we definitely have to break this level that we're having around 66,700 and that is the previous all-time high the last law all-time high we did break the market had a huge break to the upside the market came come came back down consolidated and we just might have the spike again come up consolidate come back down so it depends on what cycle we are in but right now we do have the we do have the power looking like we are trying to break this this resistance we can go inside of this flag that we're having right here now until we either break to the downside we can come back down to 64,137 or we are just breaking to the upside right now guys i am inside of a trade i took my entry from 65,720 i have my stop loss around 64,400 and i have my take profit at 70,000 so my my target got activated for a couple of uh just a couple of hours ago but I definitely have to wait and see how the market reacts to 66,400 
and then I have to adjust my stop loss if I see the market actually continue back down. And if you also want to trade on Bybit, we do right now have one of the highest bonuses ever on $3,500, depending on what you are depositing to your account. This is a very great exchange for swing trading. And if you want to have a day trading platform, Prime XPT is very good and you can also receive up to 50% in bonus added to your deposit. And if you're using the code Bitcoin Census 50, so guys, you go down to the description down below and you have the links to all of these bonuses that I'm talking about. Thank you so much for watching this short video together with me. We are coming back down a little bit. That is okay. We just have to wait and see what's happening. Please guys, remember always trade with risk management. It's okay that you have losses as long as you're trying to learn from them. We see each other in tomorrow's live stream or in tomorrow's new episode. Have a good day. Good night from Sweden. Bye bye.